Over a month and a half ago, the BP oil rig exploded off the Louisiana coast, killing 11 guys. Well, now, 45 days later, the oil spill uh, continues to spread to Mississippi, Alabama, and now it is just on the verge of hitting the, Cali uh, the uh, Florida coast, that is to say. So why wasn't Florida included in a meeting with officials from other states impacted by the disaster in the Gulf? Florida Atten Attorney General Bill McCollum joins us live right now from Tallahassee. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Good to be with you. It's great to have you as well. You know, I saw the when the president of the United States was down along the Gulf Coast, I saw him there with your governor, Charlie Crist. If he's going to have a, if the federal government's now going to meet with attorney generals, why weren't you invited? Well, I was disappointed. I thought we should have been invited. I have no idea why they didn't. And I think it reflects probably more than anything else the fact that Florida is not getting the attention in the overall scheme that it should have. I really believe that they're focused too much on Louisiana, Alabama, and other parts of this Gulf area, whereas Florida has the largest coastline. We're inevitably going to get hit by this oil spill. And I don't see the assets ready to be deployed in the posture that they should be for protecting our coast. I don't see the command and control mm -hmm. structure where they have some government official in every affected county that has decision-making authority. And I don't see where they're looking out for using uh, or planning to use any of the possible experimental but really uh, apparently very mm -hmm. effective new tools that uh, could have been deployed and, and tried out at least in, in preparation in the six weeks since this spill occurred. So I, I think it's reflective of all of those things that, that the government just wasn't and isn't really ready Right. Uh, to deal with all of this. Well, I understand that um, just 15 minutes before the meeting, it, an invitation was extended. Of course, uh, it was impossible to make the meeting. <laughs> but, you know, well, the last time you and I talked was on this program and how you, uh, as the Attorney General of Florida, were suing the Obama administration over health care. Maybe they just don't like you because you're a troublemaking Republican Attorney General. <laughs> well, it's possible they don't. Uh, I, I don't like to think that's the case, but I really believe that the issue is more that they're focused on things like cap and trade and they're distracted and were distracted before they really got to focusing mm -hmm. on all of this and weren't prepared instead of being focused on, you know, trying to cap and clean this well out there. Wait, I think this is really the issue. You don't think this is political, do you? Well, I don't know. I, I can't say. I know there are those who believe that that's the case. Um, I'd like not to believe it. I believe that we should be joined together, that this is not something that should be political. This is a major national disaster. Indeed. We have the worst e e environmental disaster in the history of the country, and Florida is in the bullseye, and we're going to get hit. We're going to have our economy affected. It already yeah. is. We have fishermen out of work. We are going to be sure. affected very dramatically on our West Coast. And, uh, I, you know, it shouldn't be it should not be political. Indeed. Uh, and the uh, the tar balls could start washing ashore there in Florida later on today. Uh, Attorney General for Florida, Bill McCollum, thank you, sir, for joining us today from the state capitol. You're welcome. Thank you. You bet.